Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about something that I've seen more and more people bring up over the last few weeks, and that is the extraction shooter, I guess, rise to prominence. Really, it's, you know, Escape from Tarkov. There's been a few others. The Cycle came out. It was like a futuristic one. That was pretty cool. A bunch of games have their own spin on it. Call of Duty with the DMZ Mo, which I think is just like kind of their testing ground for what they want their extraction shooter to be. And then Bungie has their marathon-inspired extraction shooter rumored to come out as well. And Hidden Xperia made a very good video on uh, Escape from Tarkov and how he loves the extraction shooter. And if you know G1, the esports team, uh, G1 Mikowski said, if Halo had to choose between a battle royale or extraction as the new game mode, give me extraction 100 times out of 10, it would slap in the Halo sandbox landscape. But before we get into the video, I want to know your opinions down below. Do you want an extraction type of mode in Halo, a BR type of mode in Halo, or maybe something even more akin to Warzone? The Halo 5 version, not Call of Duty. And if you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel for more Halo content. And we are grinding towards 15k, and I would greatly appreciate it if you could help me hit that. But back into the video. So we've known for a long time that Certain Affinity has been building a new game mode. And we heard a long time ago that it was supposed to be newcomer friendly. It's not as competitive than, say, Big Team Battle or the regular 4v4 arena. It's also supposed to be trying to get people into Halo who typically wouldn't be interested. And the quote was potentially, you know, gamers that like Fortnite, Call of Duty, Warzone, or Apex Legends. And all three of those things have one thing in common, and that is the BR. But it also talked about how there was a PvE-style experience, such as Halo 5's Warzone. We've also seen a ton of leaks from a bunch of different sources talking about respawning in drop pods. The ring, shrinking, revive times, loot tables, supply runs, containment zone. And we also had Last Spartan Standing, which I feel was like kind of a test, but you know. It's kind of sad that that game mode's just completely gone. I actually really liked it. So we've heard a lot of people say that the Tatanka mode will be arriving in Season 4 at the earliest which would be June 28th, 2023. So this year, but we've also heard rumors that the engine is going to change and all this other stuff. I don't think that's necessarily true. I've seen a lot of people that I respect who have, you know, seem to be pretty, pretty on point with their track record, kind of disagreeing on where it stands right now. If you watched any of our previous videos and you know that I think that with the Xbox game live stream thing that they're going to do later on in the year. I think that's where we're going to see the announcement for that stuff. But it's kind of funny because you think about, you know, for how long people have been fighting over Halo and it incorporating a BR that now it's kind of like it's missed its its train with that genre. Had Halo had a BR in say like 2020 or something like that, would it have been, you know, huge successful? I don't know. I can't, you know, obviously, no, but there's a timeline out there. But now it's like people are more and more into these extraction shooter things. And personally, I've never played Tarkov or anything like that. I think I played the cycle for like a day. I really can't remember. And while the premise of those games are very cool to me, it's not really something that I can just immerse myself in. It's a very different type of game. Honestly, instead of BTB 2.0, I really wish we got a Warzone 2.0. Uh, not the Call of Duty one again, but Halo 5. Where it was just, you know, bigger battles, more polished. I, I really think that it, it adjusts the loot box rec system. But I really do feel like that game could have been super successful in this version of Halo. There hasn't been a ton of new leaks regarding Tatanka. Back in the day, we knew that it would have a max lobby size of 100 players. So it's like, I, I don't know. I don't think that it could be an extraction shooter. I don't know if they're going to adjust what they want the game mode to be to kind of follow player sentiment right now. Uh, you know, as much as Halo, as much as people say Halo chases trends, it doesn't seem to chase the ones that it needs to chase, I guess. I don't know. I'm just excited to have a new game mode and something to look forward to and something that's just kind of new to Halo. But let me know in the comments down below how you feel. Leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!